The Barnes & Noble Nook is pretty much a direct competitor to the Amazon Kindle and the Sony Reader, and it's very versatile too, and lets you do much more than just read books. One of the standout features of the Nook is this color touch screen at the bottom of the device. By using it, you can get straight to what you want. For example, by pressing audio, you can get to the podcasts you may have downloaded from Absolute Radio. Here's one of Jeff Lloyd's ones. It'll play straight from the Nook through headphones or through the built-in speaker. Back to the start screen on the touchpad again, and of course, in the end, the primary role of the Nook is as a book, newspaper, or magazine reader. To access the ones you've already downloaded, touch Library, and then by selecting to view the covers of the books, you have a helpful visual reference for seeing exactly what you want to read next. The Nook uses the same e-ink technology as the Kindle. It's really very easy on the eye, and if you're staring at it for a long time, maybe reading a long book for hours, it won't be too much of a strain compared to a normal computer screen. Well, there's also a web browser built into the Nook, so you can visit whatever sites you like, and you control what you see on the big main screen by dragging your finger across the smaller touch screen at the bottom. Here we are on the Absolute Radio website. So we've seen how the Barnes & Noble Nook lets you read text, listen to audio like music and podcasts, and browse the web all from the same device.